What is up everybody? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. And this is not a mod. No, 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 no. This was added to the game from SCS Software. The Volvo VNL. Of course, I'm sure many of you probably already know that this truck was added to the game. Free. A free download. So that was very cool of them to do that. Even though I probably would have paid money for this. <laughs> um, of course, they also released Oregon, but I do not have that quite yet. And the reason why I didn't was I had the, of course, US mod, and well, we don't have that anymore uh, because of the updates and whatnot. But I got the game kind of back to a more of a base bones, or base bare bones, I guess is what you'd call it. Yeah, more of a bare bones thing. I got a few, you know, things like the real, you know, gas stations and some other stuff, some vehicle mods and whatnot, and just some other things to make things a little bit better. But yeah, the VNL is here and very nicely done. Of course, they always do a pretty decent job. I say decent, but I mean very good. And yeah, I'm super excited that this truck is in the game. We got choices, baby. Got some more choices. Let's get these uh, assistance things up. Hey, dude, how you doing? So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do our... I always forget about the break. That's not good. We're going to do our normal. Pick up a job and go somewhere. I wanted to be up in this area because I was actually anticipating organ coming out and I was going to get it I'm sorry I just ate and I had pizza and soda and you kind of know what that will do to you so yeah I was in anticipation for that but unfortunately um, I just have not quite had the funds paying bills and stuff to get the mod just yet oh we had a accident right in front of us I'm just gonna go ahead you guys sort that out and I'm gonna pull out so we're going to go up here, I guess we'll try FedEx and um, do uh, Tesla if nothing else. But yeah, the VNL in here and uh, the one thing I got to get used to is when you're not on the gas, it, uh, well, I guess on the accelerator, as this is diesel powered, um, there is no loud noises. Uh, that, from say the mod that they had for the game for a while but yeah I, I definitely love that they're adding wow is it really so we're just gonna go ahead and do something completely illegal and just cut across over here but yeah I, I just I, I love trucks and a variety of trucks and I hope they kind of start getting on the ball about adding more v trucks because, yeah, that would be great. And we're just going to go ahead and we'll take a, a, sh a, a short, quick job. Plus, I am kind of considering myself in training. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try to park this trailer without doing an outside view. Uh, that is very not like me, as you know. I always switch outside. But I am actually thinking of changing careers. And I kind of need to learn how to just go by how things look and of course obviously this is much harder than, than in real life because you don't exactly have you know your your 360 from your head being able to move around you have to rely on mirrors here you can't just obviously turn your head nilly willy and do it this game in uh, VR would probably be Pretty, pretty awesome. Alright, so here we go. I did skip there for a second. I had a video warning from my recording software, so I had to make sure that everything was okay. Made a couple of minor changes to the graphics. Well, I have dri driven this truck a little bit. Uh, just a real quick drive down the road after I bought it. I, uh, I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say. I, I took 
I started driving one of my other drivers that we have that I have in the company. Uh, took one of their trucks because I did not want to lose our free 89, the modded free 89, the Vipers. Okay, is there no stop sign? Okay. I didn't want to lose that, so I obviously just jumped into a one of my driver's trucks and then used that as a trade-in, and then I'm looking at this like, why are we coming down here? But then I just realized. Uh, because we would have had to do an illegal thing like we did earlier. And this trailer is huge. How big is this trailer? Oh my goodness. But it has definitely been a while since we have played. And uh, I do apologize because this was... Ooh, dear. <laughs> this was a series that did pretty well on the channel and I kind of I didn't abandon it it just it got kind of like all they were all the videos were becoming the same you know all the truck mods were pretty much been done and so on and so forth and I just I didn't want something is up here it, it, I know I said I was gonna try to stay in the truck but what is going there's no Go for it. Yeah, we're doing it. I kind of forgot where I was at there when I was talking. But yeah, I just kind of was waiting to see if anything else would really come up. And got kind of busy uh, with some other stuff. And just kind of stayed away from, strayed away from this. And this lane seems really small. That cut in real big time there. So far this truck is handling very well. I got the the max size get this lane ends, doesn't it? It seems like my graphics have reset. I'm going to pause and check those because something this seems off. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna leave it like that. I think it's because I did get rid of get rid of one of the better road mods, which made all the roads look a little bit smoother. Uh, they added in some potholes and stuff, but I think they did that in the game anyway. So I went ahead, and I was having some crashing issues where I could do pretty much a whole delivery, and then the game would just crash on me when I was like within a couple miles of my destination so yeah I went ahead and got rid of all the ones that I thought would be causing the issue and yeah th that's why I said we're pretty much running on a almost clean game like I said we got the Vipers mod we got more trucks I think mod we have different vehicles from I think Jazz Cats and the, what, I think I already said Vipers 389 real companies that kind of stuff we still have because those are steam added so they usually work constantly but all the ones that were not from steam so wish more people would put the, their mods into steam workshop and make things a little bit easier because steam workshop actually lets you know if a mod is out of date and stuff like that but yeah uh real life stuff um I'm hoping I kind of put in an application somewhere where I'd get some training and uh, would have to yeah get my uh, CDL and you know open up a, a world of possibilities but really uh, I'd be working for a, a company local and uh, it's basically a driver it says there is yeah there is no lights says there's red lights. There was a red light, but there's no lights. This game, this did this to me. Oh, uh, oh gosh. I think during a live stream a few weeks back. And there was no traffic lights for a long time, and then all of a sudden they just start popping up again. So, something's weird there. But yeah, the new job, I'm not I'm not very saying where it is, who it's for now, but yeah, I'd be a, a driver of a single axle truck 
and I think the biggest trailer we'd have is uh, 40 feet, so not super big, kind of, I guess, like, I've heard some people refer to them as the sports cars of the truckers, you know, because they can, you know, maneuver real easy, obviously being, you know, of the smaller variety trailer and whatnot, and uh, making deliveries and dropping off the product throughout the day and, you know, stuff like that, so it would be a, a pay decrease to start out, but then I would still make close to the same that I am at my current job and then the possibility of a lot more than my current job after a few months. So it's a, a move I really wanted to make for a long time and uh, I'm putting it in motion. If this one doesn't work out, uh, you know, my current company also has a trucking sector that I might look into. So who knows? But yeah, so far this truck is doing just fine. Got the uh, the bigger motor that you can get on it. I think it's the 600 horse with 1,500 newton meters of torques. So it does pretty all right. Definitely not as peppy as the Peterbilt, but definitely a lot more. It feels a lot tighter. It's a lot more responsive, obviously being a truck that is in the game standard it does react a lot better it definitely feels it definitely feels like a the Peterbilt 3, 379 or whatnot if I didn't get to, I think I might have got those mixed up I don't know. I'm rambling it's, welcome to rambling bush so I figured I'd do a little bit more talking this video because I am animated and it's been a while since we've done this this series yeah I can't even talk can't even talk I've seen a lot of Volvos oh it's up to 65 again okay going slow and everything it's definitely nice to play this I definitely enjoy this game and it's kind of like wow it's it's been a while Good. I think I might have to just play around with the sensitivity. Obviously, I think I might have to look at the graphics a little bit. Like I said it doesn't seem to be as crisp as I remember from the last time, but it could be just the fact that it's been, well, it's actually been a couple days, but I didn't play for very long. What's up with this copper, man? What are you doing? Maybe I should pass him. Just look in there. Luckily we didn't have to stay behind him for too long. God bless Texas. I think that's where we're in. No, we're not in Texas. What are you thinking? We are in New Mexico, man. I saw that 75 mile an hour speed limit and I just remembered that, that Texas has that 80. It's like, ooh. Getting to the point now where you almost feel like it shouldn't be like 85, 90 be a normal speed limit for the four wheelers, but obviously not all cars are up to par to do. I mean, most modern cars can handle, you know, vehicles I should say can handle, you know, those cruising speeds, no problem. But you see the way some people drive and you know, school zones, and you're just like, yeah, that's that's not a good idea at all. I think we're doing okay on gas. This is actually hard to see for me, the, uh, the info here, but yeah, we got 1,300 plus miles of diesel, of fuel, I should say. saying it was full when I got the truck and only drove it a short distance then yeah I mean should be perfectly fine but yeah here we go we're gonna see if Bush can park this bad boy staying inside right, it's not like I haven't tried before just 
Yeah, oh, and it happens to be one of these places. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh, look at that. Hey, hey, hey. This actually is kind of cool. This is a this is actually probably one of the best place kind of places to uh, try to do this, right? Right? I hope. Not really. Not really. Oh dear. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be super fun. I had some faults on. You know how cars are having 360 cameras these days? When is the... I mean, obviously the technology is there, I think. When do we start seeing 360 cameras on trucks? Obviously, that means outfitting a lot of trailers. And so forth. It's a... Uh, it would be a big endeavor, but man, I mean, obviously, it would help a lot. But so far, I'm not tooting my horn yet, but I think we're kind of okay. And it's actually probably better to kind of do it this way. I mean, I know not truckers hang their heads out the windows when they back up. Maybe some of them do. But definitely getting just one angle. Yeah, it's just these mirrors are just... I think we got it, though. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I did have to come out of the truck once just to kind of get my bearings on the thing again, but we did it. I am I'm amazed at myself. I I'm ready to pat I'm ready to be a trucker right now. Not the greatest job. What is happening? Whoa, what what were we bouncing around for? Oh okay, because we were on this curb. Alright. The game just kinda freaked because we hit the curb. Alright, I mean it's not great. But dang, we did it. An excellent job at that. So that was cool. And I am, like I said, I'm ecstatic that we have the VNL in the game officially without having to do any tricks and stuff. So that's cool. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see me play this game and games similar to this as well as a bunch of other kinds. Do, I know I do a lot of horror games, but it's that's just something I really do enjoy as well. But yeah, um, I appreciate you coming by, and until the next one, guys, take care, and peace.